All right, thank you so much, Joe. And now we're back with another round of Garden Guide, Charlie Stalker. And we have another phone call. And this is Bobby, Charlie from Henderson. Morning, Bobby. Hey. Morning, Charlie. How are you doing? Doing fine. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Good. Um, I got two quick questions. All right. Uh, first off, uh, uh, my yellow squash, uh, it's growing about two inches long and then getting like a rod at the bottom of it. Um, I don't know what's going on with that. My, See if you could, you know, get some insight. And uh -huh. have a question about watering. Um, I've been told you, you don't want to water like in the middle of the day because of the like a bleach or something could, you know, damage the flowers. And that, I just wonder if there's, that was a myth or if you can just water at any time. You know, I usually water the base, so it doesn't matter. But just want to kind of clear that up. Okay, uh, the squash uh, that is becoming a little mushy on the uh, on the ends. Uh, generally, your early squash, you have male and female uh, squash flowers, and obviously the females are the ones that produce the squash, and it's, uh, uh, it's, it's actually environmental. If you water on a regular basis, and I'm saying regular basis, maybe three times a week, uh, and, a, and a good soaking each time, but regularity will take away from uh, those first squash from being ruined. After the first set of squash kind of goes and comes, comes and goes, the new ones will give you the firm squash that you want. So I don't think there's too much to worry about there. In terms of watering during the day, I would advise that you water in the morning and water the ground, not the foliage, and then that water then can dissipate. And if you do get any moisture on the leaves, it will have an opportunity to uh, dry up so the fungus won't uh, proliferate on your plants. So two good questions. Yeah, thank you, Bobby, for those questions. And now we have Donna from Evansville with a question. Morning, Donna. Hi, how are you doing? Doing fine, how are you? Okay, um, <laughs> is there anything that I can spray on my weeds that is pet friendly? Uh, that is pet f friendly, okay. Uh, some people use vinegar. Uh, now that kind of burns it and a commercial vinegar, your regular vinegar that you can purchase is about 5%. Your industrial vinegar is about 20%. So if you can find somewhere where you can get the, the, the commercial vinegar, uh, a lot of times you put that in a spray bottle and you can spray that area and, uh, and it will burn off the top of, of the weeds. Uh, there are a number of things that I need to think about and, and collect my thoughts in terms of mm -hmm. uh, what will work. But um, in, in terms of weeds, I've always used 2,4-D and dicamba. Uh, but I don't know that that's dog friendly or pet friendly uh, unless you keep them in for a couple, three days, and then it pretty well dissipates and stays on the, uh, on the leaf of the weed. Right. But uh, vinegar is about the only thing I can tell you that is pet friendly. Right. Okay. And let's, we have about 30 seconds. Okay. So if you have a quick question. Well, I just want to say that we've got some videos going. Uh -huh. We do a new video every day on right. Hey Garden Guy, Charlie Stocker okay. on Facebook, YouTube. And you can ask questions there that maybe you didn't get your questions right. answered today. Uh, we, we answer 30 to 35 questions every morning uh, on, on a regular basis. But we also have videos, and right now we're into elephant ears and hardy banana plants and how to care for them. And they're only three-minute videos, so... Okay. Uh, Get you a quick tip there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Awesome. All right, well, we will check that out, and we will see you again right. next Monday. Good to see you today. Good to see you. Glad I was here when you were here. And uh, Joe's going to have one more check of your forecast, and we'll tell you what's happening tomorrow here on Local Lifestyles. We'll be right back after this.